Hey everyone, I am Gauri Manoj and you are watching Gorse. I'm glad we are on chapter 6. To be honest, I've never been so consistent. I know there's a long way to go, but still. So, chapter 6 is called You are not a lottery ticket. Now, the most contentious question in business is whether success comes from luck or skill. Come on, I'm sure most of you agree that this thought lead definitely crossed your mind because the number of times it has crossed my mind is like I don't even know. Because there were times when I actually believed in both of them. I believed ki luck hi hai pura. Then I believed कि नो नो हार्ड वर्क पे है पूरा बेसिकली वेन आई वॉज ग्रोइंग अप आई केम टू नो दैट ओके नो इट्स नॉट जस्ट लक बेस्ड सो ही सपोर्टिंग दिस दी ऑथर इज सपोर्टिंग दिस विथ थियोरी ऑल दीज मिलियन एज इन बिलियन एज लाइक वॉर एंड बुफे जेफ बेजोज बिल गेट्स एक्सेट्रा गिव आउट दी स्टेटमेंट दैट सपोर्ट दैट लक इज वेयर सक्सेस कम्स फ्रॉम द ट्रूथ इज दे ट्राइंग टू बी स्ट्रेटेजिकली हम्बल इफ यू थिंक थ्रू इट सीरीज ऑफ सक्सेसफुल ऑन्टरप्रनोरशिप कैन नॉट बी लक सो अर्लियर लक वॉज समथिंग दैट वॉज टू बी डोमिनेट कंट्रोल्ड एंड mastered upon so people focused on what they would do and not what they couldn't do they believed in making their own luck by working hard if you think that life is all about luck why even do half of the stuff that we're doing right now why even read this book so there are basically two options here believe in a definite future and then work towards it secondly believe in an indefinite future give up on even trying to master it just go with the flow this is what's most dysfunctional about these days ye indefinite attitude students prepare a very diverse resume holding in a lot of extra curricular activities and stuff for an unknowable future come what may the student is ready for what for nothing in particular definite people don't do this she thrives to be a monopoly of one she thrives to master one skill and does it so nicely that she ends up creating a monopoly out of it now there are four outlooks towards life. the first one is indefinite pessimism now in indefinite pessimism like the name suggests people see people look out into that bleak future and they have no idea what to do about it all they do is wait for it to happen and meanwhile they might eat sleep and live a little bit second one is definite pessimism then there is this group of definite pessimistic people who know that they have a bleak future and they do something about it they strive to avoid it a classic example for definite pessimism is china third one is definite optimism so this is the group of people who want a better future and they are also not Not shying away from working towards. Then the third one is indefinite optimism. They want a better future. Unko chahiye ki they have better stuff, a better future, and stuff like that. But they don't know what to do for it. Now, mere sab se, if you ask me, I think we all should uh, thrive for the third option. That is definite optimism. Jahan pe we want a better future and we are working for it. We are not shying away. Fourth option, indefinite optimism, is basically if you just look at it, uh, it's just Darwinism, right? Progress without planning is called Darwinism. Both Both one is also that you know that you're gonna have a good future, but you don't know what to do about it, so you just sit around and you enjoy whatever you have right now. So basically, what I collected from reading this chapter is that purani log sahi the yaar. I think that uh, luck is something that is to be controlled, dominated, and worked upon. It's not something that should drive you. You should drive it, and we should have a definite attitude towards things. Because logically, we agar tum socho, practically socho, jaise sochna hai socho, sirf luck se ek insaan bar bar successful nahi ho sakta. Kahi na kahi nahi, ninety percent, ninety. 9% 100% usme hard work lag hi jata hai now this chapter ends by saying that your endeavor begins by rejecting the unjust tyranny of chance you are not a lottery ticket that's all for chapter 6 you guys i hope you liked it and stay tuned for chapter 7 of this amazing book called 0 to 1